testimony and sister with the testimony right. church chat grannies over here and right. we are going to be studying today about God's what presence his bodily bodily, bodily presence. presence so on today as we come before you as your humble servants we are going to be investigating all of the scriptures sister G yes about God's bodily presence and I found something interesting there are 18 proofs 18 proofs that God Yahuwah can be seen Yahuwah can be seen is sister with a testimony and sister with a testimony church chat granny and we are bringing to you today 18 proofs in scripture that God can be seen scriptural proof that God can be seen God has a bodily presence and if God has a bodily presence that's just going to add to our last few teachings that God is a spirit being according to John 4 24 he is not the sun he is not the moon he is not the stars he is not an image of wood stone or metal he is not a beast and he is not a man we're talking about the one true God the only God yes. Yes. we're not talking about the imagination of man becoming one with the universe we're talking about the one true God yes he is not the air he is not the wind he is not a universal being or um, or, or somebody's mind and um, he is not love or some impersonal quality he is a person yeah. with a spirit, a body, and a soul. He has a personal spirit like that of angels and like that of a man, except his body is a spirit substance instead of flesh and bones like we are. Again, as a review, Job chapter 13, verse 8, we've already covered that, and Hebrews chapter 1, verse 3 in God's personal soul and God has a personal spirit body. We've already looked at all these scriptures. But today let's focus on his bodily presence. So let's dive right into Genesis chapter 3 verse 8. Sister G. Yes. What you got? And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Ooh, bodily presence. They had to hide from it. Yes. They weren't hiding from some spirit. They were hiding from God walking in a were. body. How about uh, Genesis 18, 1 through 22? He yes. goes from place to place in a body like all other persons. What you got? Yes. Genesis okay. 18, 1 through 22. Then the Lord appeared to him by the determinant trees of Maria as he was sitting in the tent in the heat of the day. So he lifted his eyes and looked, and behold, three men were standing by him. And when he saw them, he ran from the tent door to meet them and bowed himself to the ground. And he said, My Lord, if I had have now found favor in your sight do not pass on by your servant. Please let a little water be brought and wash your feet and rest yourself under the tree and I will bring a morsel of bread that you may refresh your hearts. After that you may pass by inasmuch as you have come to your servant and they said do as you have said. So Abraham has hastened into the tent to Sarah and said, Quickly, make ready three measures of fine meal, knead it, and make cakes. And Abraham ran to the herd, took a tender and good calf, gave it to a young man, 
and he had hastened to prepare it. So he took butter and milk and the calf which he had prepared and set it before them, and he stood by them under the tree as they ate. And they said unto him, Where is Sarah thy wife? And he said, Behold, in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah thy wife shall have a son. And Sarah heard it in the tent door which was behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in age, and it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, I am waxed old. Shall I have pleasure in my Lord? being old also. And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I of a surety bear a child which am old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed I will return unto thee, according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Then Sarah denied, saying, I laugh not. She said, I laugh not and laugh. I'd be scared too, wouldn't you? For she was afraid. And he said, Nay, but thou didst laugh. They're having a conversation with God in a bodily form. Isn't that amazing? And he corrected her. Yeah. And the men rose up from thence and looked toward Sodom, and Abraham went with them to bring them on the way. They were in bodies. They weren't some impersonal spirit floating around you can't see. Or carrying. They weren't carrying him in an image. Like but there Buddha. you go. <laughs> They, he wasn't some he little... He wasn't wood. He wasn't... Yeah, thank you, Miss G. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do, seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great mighty nation? There's the promise. And all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him, for I know him. Saints, I just got to interject this. God's in a bodily form here. He says, I know Abraham. I know you. He knows you, yes. Sister G. He knows me. Yes. Woo! I don't know about y'all, but that feels good. For yes. I know him, and he will command his children and his house, his household, oh. after him, and they shall keep the way of the Lord to do justice and judgment, that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he has spoken of him. And we could bust that down. You know what I'm saying? Here's the promises right here. God giving in his bodily presence. And the Lord said, Because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very grievous, well, he obviously has ears to hear them, eyes to see them, a voice to speak to people. I will go down now and see whether they have done altogether according to the cry of it, which has come unto me, and if not, I will know. And the men turned their faces from thence and went toward Sodom. But Abraham stood yet before the Lord in a bodily presence. Wow. So two, two went to Sodom and Gomorrah. Well, they they went, yes. If there, you was read the, three, mm -hmm. there was three. There was three that came. The Lord was standing there in the body talking to, to, Abram. to Abram. Right. Isn't that amazing? That is. Um, in Genesis 11, 5, I, I've got one. Genesis 11, 5. Got it? Yeah. And then I'm going to go to Genesis 19, yeah. 24. So read uh, Genesis 11, 5. Okay. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the Son of Man had built. He came down to see. Yes. Uh huh. But yes. He came bodily. Literally. He came down to see. Where'd he come down from? Must have been somewhere. Yeah. 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 See, he was in heaven, heaven. in his body. body. Uh -huh. 1924. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. Oh, well, that set that up perfectly. He came down, down from heaven to see in a bodily presence. He went back. He said, that's it. We done. It's over. Uh -huh. It's through. So if you uh, jump over to Genesis chapter 32, verses 24 through 32, 24 through 32, in Genesis chapter 32. Right. This is 
Then Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him until the breaking of day. Now, when he saw that he had, he did not prevail against him, he touched the socket of his hip, and the socket of Jacob's hip was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaks. But he said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. So he said to him, What is your name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, for you have struggled with God and with men and have prevailed. Then Jacob asked him, saying, Tell me your name, I cried. And he said, Why is it that you ask about my name? And he blessed him there. And Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, Peniel. Peniel. For I have seen God's face to face. What? I have seen God face to wow, face. Wow, wait a minute. And my I life. have seen God face to face. And my life is preserved. preserved. Now, I just want to interject something. This is not God in his glorious light. No. This is God in a physical body. Okay? We need yes. to make sure we understand yes. he has a bodily presence. But the word of God says that no man shall look upon the Lord in his glory and live. So God has a bodily presence. And they're seeing him in that bodily presence. Right. Not in the spirit form in his glory. No. We be dead. Yes. The only way that's gonna happen is is in spirit. Right. So there's a little bit more that I just had to interject that. Okay. Just as he crossed over Peniel for the for the sun rose on him and he lived on his hip. Therefore to this day the children of Israel do not eat the muscle that shine. The muscle of that shine? Mm-hmm. Muscle that's shrank, which is upon which the hollow of the Which fire. is on the hip socket because he touched the socket of Jacob's hip in the muscle. Isn't that, that's isn't that amazing? So, God must have a body, people. Yes, because wake up. Died. God has a body. He's not some impersonal floating airwave. If you go over to uh, Genesis 35, verse 9. Check this out. This is amazing. This is so cool. God is real, saints. Genesis 35, 9. And God appeared unto Jacob again when he came out of Padaram and blessed him. And God said to him, Thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall not be called Jacob anymore, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. I love it. God comes in his bodily presence, says, I'm fixing to change your name. Saints, it's about time we had a name change from self to unself. Let's just get rid of the self and say, I'm a living sacrifice unto God the Father. I'm a living sacrifice. Change my name, Lord. I want my last name to be your name. I don't want my first or last name to be anything about me anymore. I want it to all be about him. Yes. What is he saying about me? Yes. Verse 11. And God said unto him, I am God Almighty. Wow. Where's the reverential fear of the Most High God? It's like, whoo. And God said to him, he appeared to him and he spoke to him. I am God Almighty. Be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins. And wow. the land which I gave Abraham and Isaac to thee, I will give it, and to thy seed after thee will I give the land. And God went up from him in the place where he talked with him. Woo! God has a bodily presence. He can move from place to place in a body just like we do. In Genesis, all throughout Genesis, look at Zechariah chapter 14 verse 5. Saints, God has a body. 
Zechariah 14, verse 5, And you shall flee to the valley of the mountains, for the valley of the mountains shall reach unto Alzeah. Ye shall flee like as ye fled from before the earthquake in the days of Uzziah, king of Judah, and the Lord my God shall come and all the saints with thee. Wow! In a body. Not a spirit that you can't see. Not some invisible force. A body. Isn't that awesome? And then if you come back to Daniel chapter 7 verses 9 through 14. Daniel chapter 7 verses 9 through 14. I watched till till thrones were put in place and the ancient of days were seated. His garment was white as snow and the hair of his head was like pure wool. His throne was a fiery flame. It wheeled a burning fire. A fiery stream issued and came forth from and before him. A thousand, thousands ministered to him. Ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The court was seated, and the book was opened. I watched him because of the sound of the pompous words which the horn was speaking. I watched till the beast was slain, and its body destroyed and given to the burning flame. As for the rest of the beasts, they, they had their dominion taken away, yet their lives were prolonged for a season and a time. I was watching in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man, coming with a cloud of heaven. He came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. Then to him was given dominion and glory and a kingdom, that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away, in his kingdom the one which shall not be destroyed. The ancient of days we know as Yahushua Hamashiach, and he's sitting on the throne, the ancient of days. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Woo! Let's go over to the New Testament. Titus 2.13 Titus 2.13 says, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Now think about that. We are waiting for that blessed hope. We're looking for it. We're watching. We are waiting for that glorious appearing. And I want to show you one other thing in Acts chapter 7. Let me see. Acts chapter 7, verses 56. Yeah, we're going to look at Acts 7, 56. New Testament scriptures. And said, Behold, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. This is Stephen when they were killing him. Then they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon him with one accord. That's when they stoned Stephen to death. And they cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at a young man's feet whose name was Saul. That's the Apostle Paul. And they stoned Stephen, calling upon God and saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. He seen God in his bodily form. He was on earth and God is in heaven. Yes. And if you break it down, you're going to see he was calling upon God saying, Lord Jesus, receive, receive my spirit. One Lord, one faith, one, one baptism. baptism. Uh -huh. One name that is above all names, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. You cannot make this stuff up. It's just that simple. You can't make it up. You can't. You, well, you can, 
but um, and it has been and it has been done. And well, it's, it's done over and over and over Zachary. again. I'm going to go back to um, Zechariah chapter 14, and we read verse five. But if you run down the scriptures, if you just you know read down. Verse 9 says, And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. In that day there be one Lord and his name one. One. Not three. One. Not three. I know you're talking about this. Jesus said, I and the Father am, are, we, we one. Not W-O-N, because they already won. But I'm talking about O-N-E. Look at that. See, we, we, we just pick, which my friend says people cherry pick. There it is right there. They cherry picking. Zechariah 14, 1. Behold, the day of the Lord comes, and thy spoil shall be divided in the midst of thee. And if you read Zechariah chapter 14 to the end, Wow. Let's go on over and check it out. Zechariah 14, 21. Yea, every pot in Jerusalem and in Judah shall be holiness unto the Lord of hosts. Ha! Saboah. Jehovah Saboah. The Lord of hosts. And all they that sacrifice shall come and take of them and see therein. And in that day there shall be no more the Canaanite in the house of the Lord of hosts. Wow. I'm just going to say it. God's got a body. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is God in the flesh. We, Sister G, we, we. all y'all, yes. and, and we, we, if we're born again and we're obeying God, right. and we got the Holy Ghost, That's right. which you got to be born again of spirit uh -huh. and water in order to have the Spirit of God, yes. you got to be born again. You got to be born again. If you're not born again, Get born again. Down below. Leave your comments. Leave your questions. Prayer requests. Yes. We'll get to them on another video. Yes. Saints, the, the fact remains is God has a soul, a spirit, and a body. Yes. He's not going to make man in his image if he can't follow through with what he said in his word. This is perfect. That's all I need to say. The Word of God is perfect in its whole. God has a bodily presence. To God be the glory. His sister with a testimony. And sister with a testimony. Church chat. Granny. Yes. We're going to do some chat. What do you think? Oh, we're going to do some chat? Well, we're going to get to the chat. Or was it chastising? Oh, we don't want the chastising, no. but hey, I would rather be chastised Side of the me, Lord. Me too. Been there, done that. I would rather be chastised of the Lord, knowing that I'm loved and I'm right. learning something, right? Than to be given over to a reprobate to mind. the enemy. That's right. What'd you say? Reprobate mind. Yeah, what she said. Mm -hmm. God's got a personal it. body. To God be the glory. Yes. Amen. We love you. God bless yes. you. Yes.